Um, my apologies to my buddy over there, um, Canadian Maker Project. I uh, wanted to get going on this video as quickly as I could, so that is my intent. Um, I'm sorry for the uh, having the uh, YouTube up on the screen there for a second. I am going to start working on this. This is a Terrigen Crystal project that I am going to be working on. If you are not familiar with what a Terrigen Crystal is, allow me to... Uh, a Terrigen. Oh, I gotta, I gotta change the uh, spelling on that. Oh my, that's not a good thing at all. I don't want to have that misspelled. <clears throat> Terrigen. With an I. My apologies. One of those, if I have something I gotta do, I'm going to do it now as opposed to later. Okay, so I have not misspelled anything yet. Alright, good. Other than here. So the Terrigen Crystals, um, the reference photograph that I'm going to be using is, uh, let's see if I can find May. Do, 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 do. Uh, Colson did have a Terrigen Crystal in his hand at one point, but the picture is just not that great. Now let me show you. So there is a picture of May holding a Terrigen Crystal. Um, basically was kind of figuring that using her hand, that's a pretty big crystal. So I mean I'm going to assume the bottom's here. So I'm thinking that rather than go for a full-sized Terrigen Crystal like this, I will probably go with uh, something that's about five and a half inches. So that's the reference photo that I'm using right now. And I need to convert from uh, standard units to Imperial. So this is going to be about 139.7 millimeters tall. So let's start with a polygon, because I really love polygons today. And I am going to start it here, and we are going to pull that out. So we want a pretty thick crystal, so let's go with three quarters of an inch, which is... 19 millimeters. So let's do a 19 millimeters. <clears throat> I hate when I do that. I have to tab back out. So 19 millimeters, and we're going to do this five sided. We're going to spin it so our point is facing up. And so we can get that kind of as close to true as we can. So let's call that good. And why I'm doing five-sided is beyond me. Um, I could do a six-sided, but I'm not all that interested in doing that. So... Yep, we're going to do the same thing we usually do. And oop, I got to go back here because I need 5.5. So this was this is going to be about 140 millimeters. So we're going to call that 140 millimeters. <clears throat> and I'm going to pull up my dashboard. Hello, Vince. <laughs> yeah, another stream tonight. Sorry. I, uh... <clears throat> I have uh, several projects that I'm trying to get kind of taken care of, and 
So that would be the purpose. And right now I'm working on a Terrigen Crystal. So I'm trying to decide how I want to accomplish that. I think... <clears throat> We'll stop sketch. I don't need to sketch anything right now. So let's, uh, I'm going to finish this side. And we are going to, uh, this may, this probably won't be a very long stream. It really depends on how many people show up, to be fair. Um, what? Okay, first off, I should probably save this. So we're going to call this the. Tear Igen Crystal. <clears throat> this is actually, I'm trying to do this uh, for the Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. New England group. Um, we need a display, and I'd really like to do something that is cool. And why am I not able to. This is weird. I'm not getting my uh, chamfer. Because normally I would get my ability to do a chamfer when I select my edges, when I right click. But it's not giving me that option this time. So let's go to modify. Let's do a chamfer. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Okay. So we're going to bring that into a point. We're going to call that good. This part is where life gets yucky and weird. Because I need to draw on this. <clears throat> life is never perfect. So, let's put one there. And there. Oh, let's see. What do we want to do? We're gonna make some some kind of interesting geometries and then figure out where we want to go from there the idea is that um, these Terrigen crystals from Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. would have been broken off of a cluster and I want to make it kind of look that way so I'm going to do that. Alright, so we have a strange little break here, so now we're going to create a another section of lines. We're going to go kind of out and in, into weird different directions because we want to make this. This is not a perfect break. It's not a perfect, you know, the crystal had a, uh, a rough time being yanked off of its uh, cluster, so we're trying to kind of mirror, sort of mirror that, I guess. We'll see how it comes out once we're done. Alright. <clears throat> and I think we'll try not to overdo this too much, but you know how that goes. this one short so we'll do that one there okay I think that should be sufficient so we're going to take this section because we want this to be our t our highest section so what I'm going to do is move this just a little bit I'm gonna bring this up to about I don't know Maybe nine millimeters. This is going to be a fairly tall crystal, so. And then I will be extruding this section just a little bit more. Although I could do that now, I guess. Let's exit out of that. Let's bring this up. This will be our high point. So we'll bring that up by itself. Okay. Enter. 
going to bring back our sketch because our sketch decided to disappear. So let's bring that back. Uh, we'll do this section. I want to extrude that up as well. But we'll stop like right there because you know we want it to make it look kind of random. And then we'll do this section here and we'll bring that up. It's sort of random. So you can see kind of where I'm going with this. I don't want it to be like a perfectly even thing. I want it to kind of be sort of organic, but sort of, you know, geometric. So we don't want any really perfect edges, but we don't want to go crazy with like weird stuff. It's going to be a lot of work because we're going to have to go in and we're going to have to go put some of the <clears throat> um, chamfers or fillets or valve well, chamfers probably. All right. And then this one, we will bring this whole thing up just a little bit. Let's bring it up. Yeah. And we can do that right there. And this one we will bring up. Actually, you know what? We'll take that down. I wonder how that would look. Kind of like that. We'll leave this one alone. Now, the fun part is going to be kind of fixing these edges because, you know, the crystals wouldn't have been broken evenly so but we want to make sure we handle all these edges at the same time because I always have issues when I'm trying to oh that's much better so we'll bring that one like that then we'll the same thing over here Chamfer. Oops, I went a little crazy on that one. Now I guess the question is going to be how this is going to print when I do that, because that's going to be difficult. We want that edge, this edge. And we're going to do it again. So it's kind of robotic, but I think it's going to do the trick. Um, not really sure how well this is going to uh, <clears throat> translate 3D printing wise, but oops, let's see if we can get that just a little bit closer. 0.5, yep, Ooh, that'll work. Plenty of edges to play with. And if you got any opinions on what I could do with this, that would be just fine. maximum. Nope. Apparently it's going to be 0.25. There we go. It's a 0.25. Got to dress this edge up here. Oops. Let's uh, get out of this view here. We want that one. Again, I'm just trying to do an approximation of like what I would, what my feeling is that a, you know, a Terrigen crystal would look like. Um, 
if I had one in my hand. Um, I wasn't sure if they were actually six-sided or if they were five-sided, but I figured I would go five-sided. Let's try one. Nope. Point six. Point seven. Point eight. And point nine. Nope. It's a point eight five. Four. Three. Two. All right, so we can do 0.82 on that one. Let's see how that's going to look. Does that look okay? It looks fine. So I need that one. And I need this one. And I need that one. We're going to do a little bit of a... Whoops, I do not need that one. I need that one. Almost grab. Oh, I did it again over here too. Oh, let's just exit out of this and try this again. I'm grabbing this edge the wrong way here. Um, yeah, you can actually anything that's an edge, you can apply a <clears throat> a chamfer too, but. You're limited on the height part, so that's where I've been having issues is because I have to figure out where the the maximum is. So, like, I'm trying to get kind of a natural look, but sort of not since it's very sci-fi. Oops. Oops. See, so so it gets to a certain point where, like, the I think the faces start to intersect in weird ways. So, we're going to try that. I mean, either way, this is going to be ridiculously hard to uh, mold, which is kind of the end game goal, is I need to be able to make a silicone mold of this, and I think I can do it, but it's going to be complicated. Um, I'm trying to make some products that I can actually use to sell at ToyCon next year and so that's kind of just to help you know fund some of the the stuff I need I mean I need to get a computer I need to get like a bunch of just random things and uh, all right so we're at 1.2 so this might be 1.3 and cameras lighting uh, stuff that's really not in my budget <clears throat> um, I did just get my very first patron or patron uh, Kelly so very thankful to Kelly for that uh, so I did start up a patreon account it might be selfish of me I know but I'm gonna be doing some very specific uh, videos just for my patreon so I don't do recorded video on YouTube, but I am going to do recorded video on for uh, my Patreon or Patreon. I can't talk today. All right, so we're gonna save this as V2, and what I'm going to do now is because I really want to see what this is gonna look like. Is I'm going to go into Render View. So I apologize if I get a little bit hitchy on the stream um, this does tend to uh, take a little bit of my uh, graphic time so let's go with uh, medium color this is gonna be a, it's Terrigen Crystal is like a, uh, I don't think I found a good one to show you but they have like a black ribbon in them kind of like it's supposed to be the suspended uh, gas that creates the inhumans so what I'm going to do is select this model and apply this texture <coughs> and then we are going to do an in canvas render and we can talk for a moment and see how this comes out because this actually takes a bit of time so 
Oop, it looks like my uh, stream is buffering quite a bit. Now that's what I was afraid of. So I gotta wait for the stream to catch up. But I do think that will make a very nice looking Terrigen Crystal. Alright, I'm gonna pause the uh, render. Hopefully the stream comes back. <laughs> so, I'm terribly sorry about that. But yes, I, I do feel that that is a reasonable facsimile of the <clears throat> carriage and crystal, at least how I would view it. Um, I will be probably selling these as, you know, crystals. Um, I do have another project that I'm going to have to add to this. So we will uh, be addressing that later. So I think that pretty much wraps up my uh, <clears throat> my stream. Um, like I said, I wasn't really going for a whole long and drawn out stream for this project. This is just a real kind of quick thing to kind of get me something ready to go for uh, some projects I got coming up and I will definitely be going into more detail regarding those projects um, a lot of it's going to be on Patreon because that's again that's kind of the way I'm going I'm going to try and keep uh, my stream work to streams um, if there's lots of people watching then I certainly usually I would stay on longer um, Thank you, Vince, for uh, being here with me while I uh, do this quick modeling project. Um, this uh, actually went very a lot better than I thought it was going to go, considering I've never really done crystals at all, other than the uh, <clears throat> one I just did. Um, no, actually, Vince, I'm going to be printing this and just kind of a rough regular uh, PLA. Um, I'll probably be using a lot of jewels or jeweler ugh, jewel files, like the small ones, to uh, hone up my edges. Um, the the purpose is because I want to actually make a mold out of this. I could do a reverse mold. Um, oh, actually, that is something I could do. Um, I'm not sure how I would do it, to be fair, at this moment, but I could do a model where I cut this out and actually print the negative space instead of this as a positive, and then try doing it that way, but I don't know that that would come out real well, because it would be really hard to get in and clean it, so it's probably better to just do this, um, probably get some wood putty, um, start filling the cracks, you know, just basically a whole lot of sanding on this. And you can see in here, um, this is a really small void space that's going to be really difficult to get into with the files. But it's important that I try to get this as accurate as possible. And I think this is going to work really well for my project that I've got coming up. So. Hi, Rover. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to diminish. I actually, my screen's showing zero for people watching, so I can't, um, you know, I can't see what I can't see. Um, I'd like to render this for you to show you kind of what I've been messing with, but um, every time I do that, it tends to kill the stream. So what I could do is I'll just show you uh, kind of one of the pictures I've done, um, which is right here. This is uh, the force crystal that I just modeled a few minutes ago. So this would be your kyber crystal. And that's basically the kind of rendering it's going to do and roughly what it's going to look like. 
except that it's going to be green. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not seeing anything on here right now. So, yeah, if you guys want any uh, specifics, um, <laughs> just ask. Because uh, I'm not seeing uh, anybody other than uh, you guys when you're talking. But, yeah, so this is the uh, kind of the idea for the texture that I would have. Um, I'm going to be using clear cast resin or crystal clear, I believe it's called, from Smooth On. Um, this is going to be a regular crystal, so I'll just add a little color to it. And I can do your green force crystal, your blue force crystal. I'll do pink, red. Um, I don't know about black because I don't really see a point in that. But, I mean, that is certainly an option. But my idea is to make a 20-piece mold. So I can mold 20 of these at a time. And then uh, from there I can, uh, you know, baggy them up and uh, sell them as like kyber crystals uh, at the toy con so it's an idea um, I'd like to do the same thing with the Terrigen crystals um, these are a little bit different because I need to get a uh, syringe to force some uh, effects in here so um, think of them like like occlusions or ghosts so the base color would be the same so it would be like the crystal clear resin. Um, I got to uh, make a vacuum degassing chamber, which I have the plexi for already. So I can do that. Um, and then basically I'll have to fill up the mold and then I will have to be able to manipulate the pattern to make it look like there is uh, like a black kind of cloud inside so the mold itself is going to be problematic maybe somewhat uh, difficult so I may not be able to do quite this level of detail on it but that does not mean that I'm not going to try it first yeah it's all going to be translucent the idea is that uh, I can use um, an LED um, diffused maybe two or three strips behind in the display and then when I'm using the uh, the LEDs it will shine light through the crystal and really bring it out um, there's a lot of like blue LED effects in the Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for like anything <laughs> that they do so I figured that would be kind of what I would focus on so, and the forest crystals, I mean, obviously those are, you know, a little bit different, but, but yeah, so this is kind of, uh, what I'm experimenting with now. Um, I did finally get the video up on my Patreon. Um, that's my process developing the, the splinter bomb, which if you want to see real quick, I would be happy to show you. It's uh, right here. As I know you guys were on my live stream earlier with it. Um, so this is the Splinter Bomb. This is what it looks like now. I did get a stamp of approval. So. And I do believe I talked about how to do this patterning in the uh, video that I put on Patreon. Um, it's just for members, so it, you don't have to be a paid member. You just It's just for, you know, people. I really just want to make sure that if anybody's interested in this kind of stuff, you know, they have to go through the headache of actually signing up on my Patreon. So, my apologies for that, but that's kind of where I'm going for the pre-recorded videos. I will be cleaning up the videos um, in the near future. Um, for now, it's just kind of getting content out there that you know you guys can see um, kind of my thoughts on why I do what I do um, this was a very well spent two hours very happy about that I had a couple of glitches when I was creating it as you may know but you know at the end of it I I don't feel badly about you know maybe selling this at a toy con as a greeble 
you know, just to call it a, you know, whatever that you can use, a decoration or something. Make the grooves deeper. Which one are you talking about? These? Right here? I didn't want to go too deep with those. Remember, I'm not going for completely... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm. this was artistic. That was my artistic choice. I didn't go for the 100% uh, screen accuracy, if you know what I mean. Um, in order to get these lines to go down any farther, it takes um, a bit of effort. <laughs> so I really didn't want to go too, too crazy with it. Um, as is, I've got a couple of blemishes that I, you know, I'm going to have to live with because I'm not going to go in and refill them. This this works. This is, I mean, this is what I was setting out to do. But I agree with you. These would, if I was going for screen accuracy, these would be deeper. Um, this part in the center right here would actually be veins and uh, instead. But I did this on purpose because I wanted to simulate a... Uh, kind of a detonator button so that's what I did and I don't regret it for a minute so and it'll be some of them will be painted details and some of them will not be so that is that yes I know you love to make me work harder I remember I don't know what I'm doing by the way so you gotta be you know easy on me I, the fact that I was able to do this you know this kind of detail on something that I was not envisioning as having that much detail is actually I'm very proud of myself for that so you know I mean I can I can see this as being you know a break you know from a you know a bigger cluster and I think that's pretty cool and I can use the same model and scale it down in size if I need to but I don't really have any intention of doing that um, what I may do is just mold this one the way it is and make a flat bottom one. <laughs> Thanks, Rover. So, um, yeah, I can actually do that real quick, actually. And my apologies. It's my bedtime and I'm, uh, I'm yawning. I bet you if I took this and just made it flat, um, that would probably work display purposes better. This would work better as just kind of a sellable crystal. So let's think, how do I want to do this? I've already saved this. We'll call this uh, V3. Just to make sure. All right, that's saved. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back all the way back to my first extrusion and chamfer. Boom. Alright, so now I've got a flat surface to work with. And I'm going to save this as Terrigen Crystal Flat. <clears throat> I'm going to save that. And what I could do is, uh, I don't need a massive amount of space to work with in the mold. I just need a flat surface on the top. Let gravity do the work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually apply a chamfer to this. And we'll call this one of like the ceremonial ones. Because I need, I just need a window of space to work with. I think a four millimeter chamfer should be sufficient, so we'll leave that alone. And I would still be able to print this from this side vertically, because these are not going to be really, really hard edges. Um, so the printer should be able to handle that without any issues at all. Um, it actually, it doesn't really matter which orientation I use. See if I can find it again. There we are. So I should be able to put this on the. Uh, no. Uh, 
There we go. So yeah, if I was to lay this on the bed... Oh, I hate it when the camera does this to me. I don't want to do that. I want to do the other way. Nope. 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 There we go. Oh, it's almost there. Which button is it? I can never remember. Oh, I don't remember. It doesn't matter, I suppose. But yeah, so you can see kind of what I was talking about. I might be able to... I uh, wonder if we can render this a little bit. This is dangerous. So if I lose the stream, I'm sorry. But let's uh, let's do some visuals on this. We're going to try and let's see how this is going to come out. And if it starts killing my uh, stream, I will uh, stop. doesn't kill my stream. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Can I do it? Can I do it? Okay, hold on. I'm going to pause it. Let it catch up on the stream for a second. Alright, you ready? I'm going to go for a little bit more detail now. Telling you, it is rough trying to do a stream and uh, have the do some of the rendering on this. It's almost not worth it. Yeah, I don't think it's really all that worth it. <clears throat> All right, let's get out of render view. Go back to model. So yeah, you get to see a little bit of what it looks like rendered. Um, I apologize that the uh, my computer can't do streaming and rendering at the same time. All right. Ah, uh, I think that is really all I have for tonight, other than to. Uh, find a storage vessel for this. Um, oh, I could do this real quick, too. If you've never done this before, let's turn off the sketches. Um, I'll show you this real quick. When you go into Make on here, you can just click on the object that you want. I've started working with multiple objects now, so really it's kind of meh. But like you can have multiple objects in a in a, in a uh, project, and you can select which one you would like to 3D print. Um, I typically do not send this to a 3D printing utility, but I will send this to my downloads file, and we'll call this uh, TerraEgen Crystal. Two, and then I can uh, put this on my cloud and work from there. And then I can open up my other one, and again, same thing. I gotta turn these sketches off because they have a tendency of muddling everything. Um, go to make, make sure that's deselected, select this. I have do I have your email, don't I, Rove? I thought I did. All right, I'm gonna save this to same place. Terrigen Crystal One, and that's gonna be my display model that I'm going to print. That is going to be problematic to print. I'm gonna have to mess with the orientation on that. Oh, let me see, Rover, if I have you on my... You can send me an email as well. But let 
me check. I thought you'd send me an email before anyway. My computer is so slow. What is going on? Yep, I've got your email right there, buddy. I have officially sent you another email. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Well, I sent you in one. I sent you another one anyway. All right. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. <clears throat> um, let's see about uh, catching back up with uh, Canadian printing nerd. Um, hopefully, this is somewhat informative. I know that uh, I'm not an expert at things um, Fusion 360, but I certainly try to do my best. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking around with me while I do this. Um, oh, I gotta open up one more because I completely forgot. I need to. Yeah. No, I don't want to save that. I need to open up my Hydra Splinter Bomb one more time, and I gotta export that as a STL file. Let's see how complicated this sucker is. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I almost want to take a picture of that. Get all of those intersecting lines. Alright, so we're going to export this as the Splinter Bomb. And we'll figure out a marketing term for it in the future. And I also need to open up my Kyber Crystal. I thought about making this like geometrically squished, but realize now that that's probably not a good idea. We'll call this Kyber. But it is cool like how easy some of the stuff that you think is going to be like ridiculously difficult to do ends up not being as hard as you thought. So, you know, don't fear 360. Um, fear me because I might give you bad advice. <laughs> And uh, real quick, if you guys want to see it, and if you don't, I'll show it to you anyway. This is the project that I was working on <clears throat> that I now have many people interested in. Uh, this is the kind of like the memory box of sorts. Um, it's designed to have LEDs in it. And I have to tell you, it works like a champ. So I may one day put this on Thingiverse, but for right now, I can't. So, But there it is. And thank you, by the way, Rover, to your last comment. But, yep, so this is my... Uh, it's a combination of lithophane and 3D printed work. Lots of 3D printing. Like 90 hours of 3D printing. Well, actually, I think it was a little bit longer than 90 hours, but you get the idea. 
thank you, Matt. And my first uh, Patreon ended up is Kelly. <laughs> yes, I did lithophane that picture. Um, actually, it came out very nice. Um, the owner of the the dog was very uh, happy with it. And uh, it'll be something that I get to see pretty much daily when I go to the lab because it's on display there. So yeah, it was uh, it was pretty awesome. It was a lot of gratitude. But if you haven't seen it, yes, um, it's not the most beautiful page yet. But I'll give you a quick preview of what I've got going on. Um, this is the about us section. Uh, shrink myself down a little bit and I will show you my little bit about us video create innovation create passion create a lot of lag create community so at this point you're asking yourself why should I subscribe to you make it simple we are going to make this interesting for you and worth every dollar you contribute. You see, we need you to help us financially in order for us to help move to the next level and to bring more exciting projects to you. Any subscription level will help us. Doesn't matter if it's a dollar all the way up to $20 a month. That is fine. As I said, we offer several tiers and some of those tiers come with swag and special options. But you know, it takes you to make this work. It always boils down to money, doesn't it? Thank you for your consideration and your support. So anyway, yeah, that's the, uh, that was the, my little intro video. No. Uh -oh. That's weird. What happened? I'm having streaming issues. Oh no! That's what happens when I try to do weird things, huh? You know what it was? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what happened there. Holy cow. Okay. Sorry, I'm 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 sorta of back now, I think. I don't know if the stream's actually running or not, but Alright, so the lithophane that I did, yes, has a LED in it. It actually, I built the cavity specifically at the depth that I would require to put the LEDs in without having to put a diffuser in. And I gotta tell you, it worked beautifully. Um, there's a little bit of a lip in there and that blocks the vertical um, LEDs from bleeding through to the side too drastically. And they all point kind of inwards into a square and that light diffuses right up through it. It works beautifully. So, <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, real quick. Um, this is, like I said, this is the, I'm not going to play it again because it just crashed my stream when I did that. So, um, I have, you know, my intro video about me. Um, this is a project, the Kyber Crystal project that I was working on. Um, short videos. These are all pre recorded Kind of, well, they're recorded videos, but they're not like produced videos. So, um, this is a little bit about my my splinter, uh, you know, the splinter bomb from Hydra. About the Inicubic Chiron, mold making, character development. Basically, I'm just like, this is where I'm going to start posting stuff. So, you know, like I said, you know, if you can contribute a dollar, that's awesome. If you can't, well, you know what, so what? 
You guys are still my uh, my guys. Did you see the uh, intro video that I played? Because I didn't know if the sound went through or not. All I know is on my side, everything crashed. So, I'm glad that for once I didn't actually crash. It's just my, my screen crashed. So, yep, on Patreon, or on Patreon, because I can't ever say that word. I don't know why. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing if we can get that growing a little bit. I know, like I said, it's not, it really isn't to be selfish or anything. It's just... I have been incurring a lot of expense and we have winter coming up and that means heating fuels and materials to finish the uh, insulation and stuff so but anyway you know I always appreciate you guys being around I mean I really do more than you may know um, it means a lot to me so, but yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight. I really got nothing else to talk about, which I know, shocking. Patreon, yes, Patreon. Um, I have been busy doing more of the designing and creating than normal. Um, typically, I, you know, talk about 3D printing. Um, this is, like I said, this is a more real kind of setting for me. Um, I'm not going to stop doing streams. My streams are still going to be streams. I'm still going to be doing those on uh, whatever days I'm available. Um, I will be doing... A, I'm going to try and polish up some of the videos for... Patreon. Um, there's going to be some, of course, at different tiers. It just depends on what the topic is. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, limit what people see. It's just that I want to put a little bit more effort into the Patreon side. So, you know, people actually feel like they're getting something worthwhile because I know that I can just kind of be dry at times. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. In any time, Rover, I, I really do like doing this. I do this because I enjoy doing it. Um, it's just handy that I also have people that I enjoy talking to while I'm doing this. So, I mean, I would, I'd be doing this regardless of whether or not people watched. I mean, I've done it several times with nobody watching. Um, but I think everybody that does watch, because... You know, we're up to, what, 240 subscribers now, I think? I don't know. Let's take a look. What is our uh, YouTube analytics? <sighs> what is that? TubeBuddy or Social Blade? That's it. Here, we'll pull Social Blade up real quick. Let's see how we're looking. I don't really put a whole lot of um, importance on this, but it's always fun to like look at it periodically. So here, there we go. This is this is our uh, social blade standings. I'm a rank C. Look at that. I make almost sixty four dollars a year. Not that I've ever seen it. Um, yep. I just had uh, Mike subscribe, so he's uh, made me two hundred and forty. Um, yeah, so yeah, things are changing a little bit. Um, please consider adding socialblade.com to your ad block whitelist. Our ads support, oh, well, apparently I have an ad blocker turned on, so. But you can see the activity's done really well. You know, I mean, we've gained more subscribers than we've lost. Um, I'd still like to know where this money is because I've never seen this I, w I want that five dollars so yeah that is pretty much this status I am uh, 
I don't know. 10 millionth in view rank. 5 million in uh, social blade rank. And 6 million in subscriber rank. That's pretty cool. I don't care. I can't believe we're at 240 subs or, or now. You know? I mean, I think that's awesome. You guys are a huge help with that. I know uh, some of you I would have never met if it wasn't for, you know, Walter and... You know, come in Canadian Make a Project and show them. You know, I mean, that's like, there's a bunch of you guys that, you know, we kind of share. So, I think that's pretty awesome. But, anyway, I'm going back to rambling again. So, I'm going to get off here so we don't, like, extend this painful goodbye for too much longer. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys for being on tonight and uh, hanging out and watching. And uh, I very much look forward to our next, uh, you know, our next uh, stream. And like I said, uh, please do, uh, if you know anybody that's willing or thinks that, you know, my content's okay, you know, please do encourage them to uh, help on Patreon. That would uh, go a long way towards getting some of the stuff I need. You know, the soft lights, the uh, which I can probably do at some point. But right now, it's about getting a couple more pieces of equipment and a computer that I can actually do good quality streams from. This thing is really chugging to burn these videos. So, But anyway, guys, again, like I said, thank you for hanging out. Um, and I will see you the next time. So... Like I said, don't give up on your dreams. Keep pursuing what it is that makes you passionate. And, you know, keep innovating stuff. And again, like always, come back to me. Let me know what I can do. Okay? This is just as much your channel as it is mine, even though I have the end authority. <laughs> so, we'll talk to you guys later. And